this uh, pixie. It's quite a spooky area at the minute. It's over, over in uh, back further than Pangbourne. Um, so quite close to where I live. It's in Reading. Um, yeah, very strange. You've got like a probably can't see it. The sky looks kind of green. You've got church bells playing. Or two dog walkers coming up. They're on either side of the lane. And then, as I got to the darkest part of the lane, but there's nothing more there than uh, there's, you can see the little places. Um, so there's nothing more than a rugby club there. I suddenly saw something move really quickly um, in. Well, it was, it was actually in someone's garden behind the hedges. And um, it's probably likely a fox or something like that. It gave him gave this sensation, a uh, prickly sensation at my back. So I thought, <laughs> are you hanging around? Yeah, I'm definitely not, you know. It's all great being Bigfoot chaser and uh, or looking at Dogman or something like that. But when you see something black, or sort of stretch out and move across. So it could be a big fox or or something else. I can't see what's over there, but that's um it used to be an old people's home. It's closed down. It's just uh now it looks like a FEMA camp. It's got <laughs> it's got it's got massive fences on it. But you can't see anything on my mobile that's um Maybe a bit of uh, censorship going on with YouTube. I was uploading a video and it's it sort of sent me an issue with the server and stuff like that. And then it said um, not allowed. And when I sort of checked the uh, video manager, it had all these list of things I was trying to sort of upload, which is fair enough. Um, I've deleted a load of them. It just seems to be incapable of. Um, uploading the videos. So I double check that. It could be the content. So I've mentioned about current events and possible other events. And that might be prohibited. So it's the clamp down on free speech that lots of people have uh, talked about. Which is really just a new amount of time. Because um, there's always going to be a sort of censorship in what you can say. And, um, and sort of I think it's just really knowing what, what the free speech changes are. You know, there's areas where you can talk about certain things. It'd be nice to know what they are. It's another dark place I've been because all there is is this rugby club down there and woodland, just lots of woodland there. And it's also near a sort of farm. And it can smell, it smells of cow, cow's muck. Um, which I wouldn't say is really an unpleasant experience. It's just um, gives it this country feeling. So, yeah, it's amazing what the uh, the mind also plays on as well. What could happen there? 
Not that there's anyone I know that's gone missing in this area. However, I'll have a look. It may not be uh, fully known or it's just a case of it's so, such a remote area. There's a chance of getting caught up, caught up with something rather than anything else. So yeah. Okay, well, I'm alive and safe and I'll speak to you soon. <laughs>